Mm. It's like dry at first and it crumbles and then it's like so... But then the peach hits mm. it. It's not too sweet peach, it's like subtle peach. Mm. I am in Copenhagen right now together with my friend who doesn't want to show herself because she's not wearing any makeup. <laughs> it is actually my third time this year so I'm not really planning on doing a lot of sightseeing. I just want to eat a lot of good food which we're really good at so... <laughs> We've come to Apotheque 57 and actually they're known for their miso caramel croissants but they sold out unfortunately so we got a peach cake and it's so good and we got a really nice seat just looking out of the window and it's raining so it's such a vibe <laughs> You wouldn't guess it, but it's actually summer right now and it's raining. Oh, oh me, I'm hello. And we are on our way to the second spot. We're going to Atelier September, which is the place we wanted to go to before, but there was a wait. So hopefully now we can just sit and eat our second pastry <laughs> meal. Second, second bite. Snickety snook. <laughs> second snickety snook. <laughs> <laughs> We just came to Atelier September and we got the pancakes and the kitchen was closed so we were so worried but we were just in time It's so beautiful I did a terrible job at cutting it though, it was a mess but The pancakes are so crumbly but soft and the berries are so tart, not too sweet. What do you think this thing is on top? The white stuff. Mmm, like cream cheese. I would have been so sad if we didn't get to eat this. So good. Mm. Look, she's put on makeup so she's gonna say hi now. <laughs> Not sure if I told you what we're gonna eat, but it's called Based and it's known for pizzas and it's in the north area, Neubro, if I say it correctly. <laughs> and I have been there before last time. Not sure if I filmed it a lot, but I will show it to you this time. Okay, should we start with the garlic bread? Oh, salad. Salad time. Is it even considered a salad when there's so much cheese? <laughs> Wow, it's so good. Like lemony? It's lemony. Mm. And the sourdough has so much flavor. This is the garlic bread. It looks so nice. How is it? I'm coming for you. <laughs> how is this possible? You know how usually when you eat garlic bread you feel so guilty? Because there's so much like butter and no nutritional value. But this is on sourdough. And there's like vegetables, like roasted vegetables, and still so flavorful. Like I don't even feel guilty about eating this. It's yeah, it's so good too. Mm. <laughs> oh. It smells so good. Mm. The bread is so fluffy. And the stracciatella I think is homemade. So it's really like flavorful. This is actually the most basic pizza that they have on the menu and I think this was the best decision. <laughs> it's so good. 
Not too sweet, not too salty, like and the tomato sauce. Mmm, the tomato sauce is really good. Mm. We're back in our hotel room and there is this thing that I ate in Denmark last time I was here and it's not really something that they sell in restaurants It's just something you buy from the supermarkets It was like so memorable for me So we just bought it again and then we obviously were in a hotel So we just got like paper cups and spoons to put it in but it's this It's kind of like a custardy Milky kind of product and then you eat it with these biscuits on top and you could put strawberries But we couldn't find any so we bought raspberries right now. We're gonna get changed into our jammies and Just chill and then enjoy this dessert a little bit and then Gonna sleep and wake up early tomorrow to go to what is supposed to be the best bakery in Copenhagen Good morning. It is pretty early right now. We woke up on, in time so we can go to Juno the Bakery. Yay! <laughs> we are prepared to stand in line because I've heard that it's pretty common to have to stand in line. But um, I am so excited to eat all the pastries. It is kind of a vibe. <laughs> is it good? The bread is so soft. Yeah. Oh, this looks like just the bullet just even that we have in the yeah. Netherlands. You know the ones that they sell all over time, just the regular. Yeah. The cheese is really beautiful. Mmm. Oh. The texture. You should touch it. Oh, this is gonna be so crispy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We came to Juno, and when we came, there was no line at all. We got so lucky, and now the line is like suddenly insane. It's insane. And there are only a couple tables outside, and there was this really nice mom and daughter. They let us join in their on their table, but they just left. So now I'm just gonna. <laughs> To a quick shamelessly. Review, shamelessly review these pastries. We got a bunch of stuff. So first we got a milk bun with butter yeah, so and cheese. Oh. She doesn't even like just regular, yeah, brochikas. <laughs> yeah, regular bread with cheese. But this was Chuck, you liked it, right? I liked it. The bread was really good. soft and the cheese <laughs> flavor. And the butter was salty. Salted butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then we got cardamom bun and pistachio croissants. Oh, it's still a bit oh. warm. Oh wow, so much sugar. Mmm, is it good? It's like a cinnamon bun, but with spices. Mm. It's good. Mm. Not soapy? Not soapy. <laughs> I had one recently that tasted kind of like soap. Maybe they put too much cardamom. Maybe. This is perfect balance. Mm. Mm. <gasps> wow, it's so beauty. It's much beauty. <gasps> Wait, look at the bottom. It looks so nice. It's not like sweet or anything. Oh no. Very subtle. I think once we get to the middle, it will have more pistachio flavor. Mm. Do you see what I mean? Mm. Not sugary at all. Yeah. Mm, these people must be waiting for like half an hour. No way. Oh yeah, maybe. Mm. They work fast though. Mm. And they're so nice inside, by the way. Like they, they're really patient, even though they know there's a line. They explain everything. Mm. 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 Oh, it's hard. Mm, like my life. <laughs> <laughs> Almost fell to the ground. Oh my god! I saved it with my cat reflex. <laughs> Look at this like pistachio paste. Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh <laughs> the inside is insane. Is it like creamy? Also, there's a bit of like vanilla-ish things there. <gasps> I don't even know how to explain the texture because it's so flaky and crispy but soft. It's like all at the same time. Yeah. It perfectly holds up all the fillings without being too crispy or too hard. 
I wish I could eat like emotional ten of those. Mm, we can. <laughs> Good. No, there were two left, but they were making new ones. Mm. I also feel like they keep refreshing it, like they make it fresh, so it stays crispy. Mm. I'm a little bit depressed because <laughs> first of all we thought that today was supposed to be a little sunny but it's just clouds but that's okay I can live with that because it's not that cold but I came here because I had such a good memory of their sourdough buns with butter and cheese that I actually had in I think my first vlog of Denmark and apparently they only have it for breakfast um, and we're really close to this place called Refn, which is a food market. We're gonna go to the food market after and hopefully make up for the sourdough bun that I missed. <laughs> We're walking around now, trying to see where the best place is to eat something since we can't eat everything. I know everything smells amazing. There's like barbecue going on, parmesan fries, truffle fries. We got our tacos. We waited so long for this actually. It wasn't very efficient, but hopefully worth the wait. Thick ass taco. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers. Turkey is a little stale. A bit. No. But the flavor of the pork is really good. How are your mushrooms? It's good. No? After finishing the whole taco, I do think that the pork was a little dry too. And to be honest, I think I should just stop trying to eat tacos in Europe because I don't. Because <laughs> it's just always a little bit disappointing compared to the ones in LA. But it's okay. I enjoyed it still. We got fried mac and cheese with ranch. Is it good? It's good? Okay. It's hot? <laughs> yeah. Wow, the ranch is really good too. Mm. I honestly wish it was a little more cheesy. Mm. It could be more cheesy, right? Yeah. Mm. Because it's not so cheesy, it needs the salt. We also got a raclette, which we're waiting on right now. It's like melted cheese over potatoes. I can't wait. <laughs> What a perfect bite! Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> he said that the rind is the best part of this cheese. Let's just eat it without potato. Mm. 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 <laughs> and also, the potato itself is really like so soft and like. But also, I just love potatoes. So, and then they cracked some black pepper on top, which is also perfect. We actually came back to the hotel and we got changed. I'm not naked. I'm actually <laughs> I'm wearing something. Uh, but we got changed. We're gonna go to dinner, but I don't want to bring all my stuff, so I'm just gonna bring my camera, no mic. We're going to the meatpacking district. I guess I won't really be speaking to you, but I'll show you what it's like. It's a good fry, right? Good fry? I know. Not the best fry. Really? I didn't say ever, but like close to. It's just mayonnaise. But the fries are crispy. Yeah, they're good. And so well seasoned. A 
a bit too salty for you, maybe a bit. Mmm, <laughs> so crispy. McDonald's fries got nothing on these. You disagree? <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of this. Mm. Fried camembert sandwich mm. with cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. <gasps> that looks so good. Mm -hmm. How is it? Do it with the sauce. Yeah? <laughs> oh wow, that looks so good. <laughs> Oh god, oh my god, you guys! <gasps> so this place is known for their Fliskestai sandwiches. Fliskestai spelled very differently than you would think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like just meat on a sandwich. And it's like porchetta almost. My friend is vegetarian so she got a camembert but oh my god. Even if you're not vegetarian, why wouldn't you want that? But I had to get this just because we're here. Hi. <laughs> that pork is so crispy, what the hell? So I told Isa that these fries are the best I've ever had in my life. And I don't know if they're the best, but they're up there. Like I'm being serious, they're up there. What would you say are the best fries you've ever had in your life? I don't know, but not these. But like contestants. Mm, I remember in where was I? Maastricht. What? There was a fry place in Maastricht where they put like the meat on the fries, but I got it without the meat, obviously. So, so what do they put on the fries? Just like sauce? Sauce and probably some dried onions. But you also said something about special sauce. But this is plain mayonnaise. It is. I think maybe I remembered it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a fry purist. So I love fries for what they are. Mm. And these are just the fries itself are really good. Can I have one bite of your oh, camember? Camember. <laughs> oh that is hot. It is hot. But good. Mm. I know we did have dinner, but why are we enjoying this so much? I don't know. <laughs> Alcohol. 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 Alcohol.